Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I have another one page wonder. So this one um, is another five pocket folio made from one sheet of paper. And I got a request from one of my loyal subscribers, so thank you, thank you, um, to take this super cute mini five pocket flip folio. Okay, it flips open like this. There's a pocket, a pocket, and then you open it this way, and you've got another large side pocket, which would be um, pocket number three, pocket number four, pocket number five, okay? And it's a mini size. I also, you could count that, I guess, as a six pocket, but anyway, I'm calling it a five pocket folio. Um and I love the little flip and the little belly band, okay? This was made with an eight by eight piece of paper and that's on my channel and you can go watch it. Um, but the request was to do a larger one. So this time I used a 12 by 12 piece of paper. It's almost exactly the same couple of, you know, one little thing was a little different. But anyway, you end up with a folio again. You get to make a belly band with the one piece of paper. You have a flip up and we have one two, three pockets. Again, I stuck something in there. Four, isn't that cute? And then five pockets. Okay, and this one obviously I made Halloween themed, thinking about fall. Okay, so um, this uses a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I'm gonna give you all the measurements. They'll be in the description and where we're gonna score and, and how we're gonna do it. The one thing that's different is just the shape of this little angled pocket is a tiny bit different. Um, just, I don't know what I did, but when I figured out all the measurements, that's what happened, but I like it and it is very, very similar, just from an eight by eight to a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, so let's set those aside. So I'm using scrapbook paper. It's double-sided, and um, I think it makes the folio look cute. Again, if you want to, go to the description to get the measurements. So the first thing you're going to do is take your 8 or your 12 by 12 piece of paper, and you are going to cut a strip off right at 4 inches on one side. So you will end up with a 4 by 12 piece of paper, okay? And then take that four by 12 and cut off a one inch strip on that four inch side, okay? So you'll end up with a, a this is gonna make the belly band. That leaves you with a piece of paper that is three inches by 12 inches cut it off at four inches. So now you have an eight by three, a four by three, and a one by 12. Now go down to your next piece of paper. We're just gonna make one cut. This piece of paper is eight inches this way by 12 inches. So on the 12 inch side, cut it eight inches. So you get an eight by eight and then a four by eight piece, okay? And that's all you're cutting. And I'll have that in the description. All right, and then we'll do our scoring. So like I said, this comes together just like the mini one, um, just using this larger piece of paper. So the first thing I want you to do is take your eight by eight piece of paper and we are gonna score it on one of the eight inch sides, I'm gonna do it because this the words, some things will end up upside down, but it's okay. Um, or potentially upside down. So we're gonna score on the eight inch side at four inches. And I'm gonna flip it over. They say this helps it not crack, we'll see. Score it on both sides right at four inches. So basically you're just folding it in half, okay? And then turn it. And this is gonna make your pockets. We're gonna score it two and a half inches. Now, um, again, I wanted my pockets at the bottom so when it's turned this way, um, whatever I might see of the words will be 
the right direction. Now, if you want to turn it this way, they're now upside down. So you just have to kind of figure that out. I guess if we had wanted to turn the paper this way, we could have scored on the other two and a half inch side and had words that were up. But then the outside would have been upside down. So whatever makes you happy. And look, I didn't score it on both sides and it cracked. Ah, But it's okay. I will ink it and we won't care. All right, I hope I didn't just confuse you guys. Score it four inches, eight inch, turn it, score it two and a half inches, okay? All right, set that one aside. Now take, let me look at my notes. We're going to do the, um, which one are we gonna do next? We're going to take this piece which is the four by eight piece, and we are gonna score it on the eight inch side at two and a half, and I'm not even sure which end would make more sense, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Two and a half inches on that eight inch side. This is gonna be your, your front flap, okay? I'll do it like that, and then set that one aside. Now, this piece um, is going to turn into your pocket and your angled pocket. So just this one is three by eight. Score it at four inches. Again, just in half. So four inches. Whoops. Okay. And that's all your scoring, I believe. Let's hope I did it all right. Okay. Now... When you're working with your pieces, I always say this, but you know, just be careful because like my score went a little crazy there for a second. And um, you know, you just wanna make sure you fold everything nice and um, even. My paper is cracking quite a bit. I don't know if it's just this particular paper or what's going on. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of this collection. It's one of the cat and dog one. Um, from Graphic 45. It's really pretty. But I thought it also had some pretty colors that can help us head into fall. Okay, this is going to be made into a pocket. Okay, take your main folder and again, let's make sure everything is creased nicely. And get it as even as you can. And I haven't really thought about, I think I'm going to leave where we get to see a lot of these flowers. I like the vintage um, newsprint kind of look, and it is nice in fall. But what happens, whichever side you decide is the, um, the, the side you want to see the most of, you don't hardly see any of the other side, and I really want to see all these flowers. So I am going to fold mine this way. All right, so to make this fold up much better, we are going to cut out just a little sliver on this score line, and I am just inking it for you so you guys can see it on camera. All right, we're gonna just cut out this little section, so I go just barely to the right of where the score is, right up to this score line, and then just to the left of it. So it's just a little sliver. Okay, and we'll trim that off. And now our folio will fold up a lot nicer for us. And like I said, stress ink will take care of <laughs> that paper cracking. It's not tearing all the way through it's totally fine it just you can see the white core and I don't like that all right um it doesn't really matter where we start so I think the first thing we're gonna do is let me ink this to make it a little easier hopefully on camera for y'all to see we have some sunshine today but it's still a little a little overcast and so I hope the lighting on the video is all right for you guys and you can see everything we've had such strange weather I feel like if I waited for it to be absolutely ideal I'd never get to make any videos <laughs> 
Okay, this is the piece that is three, yep, three by four. And it is going to make this pocket right here. Now you have a couple of options. You can install this pocket just by gluing on the two sides and then it will be, let me find some kind of card here. It will be a pocket that has the full depth um, of, of this um, folio, or if you add glue to the bottom of the pocket, it'll be a little shallower, a, a more shallow pocket. And so whatever you put in will stick out. I decided, whoa, on this one, to install it and gluing it down so that I wanted to put this circle tag, isn't that cute with the little bat? Um, and I didn't want it to fall all the way through. So, you know, if, if you're not sure, I'd say don't put the glue at the bottom of the tag. And that way you could always add some later. I am gonna notch this one. So I'm just eyeballing the center, getting us a thumb notch. And we're gonna go ahead and install this pocket. Now, usually what ends up happening is, because I'm gonna come a little bit to the right of the center score line, you end up with a little bit of an overhang of this pocket, and then I just trim that off. It's not a big deal. So before we trim that, we'll glue. So I'm gonna add glue. On um, this one, I'm just gonna do these two sides, which is leaving the bottom open. So if I wanna put a large piece of ephemera in there, it will fit. And later, if I have something and I don't want it open, I can just very carefully take my glue and close it up, okay? All right, I'm gonna flip it over and trim this sliver off the back. It's just a little tiny piece like that. And if you wanna add some more, you can. Okay, and then let's go ahead and close up this one. You know, I didn't do this with the other one, but I'm gonna notch this one. I just think, hopefully I eyeballed it close enough. I just want to see, didn't give me a clean cut, I'm going to do it again. I just want to see that pocket there. And I think it'll be cute. All right. Oof. So I just need glue on the two sides. I just refilled my little bottle of glue. I go through a lot of glue. And so it's coming out really fast. <laughs> I have to be careful. All right, and you always just wanna make sure you haven't glued your pocket accidentally closed. All right, so everything's looking good. Now I'm gonna to wait to glue this one down. We're gonna do our flip. So the flip is going to go like this. Now again, I can decide, do I want to keep all the flowers and not have any contrast, except when I flip that open, or do I wanna turn it the other way? And I'm gonna do the flowers because I believe when I do the belly band, I'll do the belly band this way. Okay, and that'll be my contrast because I'm just loving these flowers. Okay, so if you wanna ink, go ahead and ink just a little bit. And I hope having the measurements for the larger size is helpful for you guys. Um, it took me a few minutes. <laughs> I went through a couple of um, prototypes. Not, not a problem, though. I'm um, just to get all the measurements. So it was fine. And I had fun doing it. So, all right. Now, this one, when you go to install it, you just want to remember what you're doing and not glue um, glue it closed because this is going to be the big side load pocket. So we only want glue right here along the top. It's going to flip open on the front and then right on this side of the flap. Okay. 
and that's all that holds the slap on and it's fine it will hold but you just want to be careful not to again glue your pocket closed and not to get glue on the other side of the flap because you want it to open nicely for you now the reason I wait on this one is sometimes I forget and I glue this closed and you don't want to do that so for this pocket you're only adding glue to this side of the flap and you're again you're leaving it open on the side so that we have a nice large side pocket all right we're getting close all right now flip this one open now you have this piece and this is the piece that is eight by three because I it could have been eight by four, but I wanted to save that piece for the belly band, and this is what always makes the um, makes the measurement a little bit odd. Okay, so we scored it at four, so fold it in half. Now we are going to fold an angle pocket, and um, I'm going to take the left, the top left corner, and I'm going to flip it over. But this is the one we're going to work with, and I'm just going to fold it as neatly as I can into a triangle. And then this is going to be our pocket. Now we can cut this off and you have this little piece to decorate or to use somewhere else, or you can just glue it down. I am going to trim it off because I might want a little piece of this paper for something else. Okay, and it fits on here. Nice. If you want to, you can trim just a sliver. I'm talking just a tiny, the tiniest of slivers. I did like, like that. A little teeny tiny, just to make it fit in here really nicely without any overhang. Add a little ink, and this is almost done. All right, so this one, to install it, the first thing we'll do is we'll glue this pocket closed. So we just add glue right along the bottom here to this flap, fold it over, and then hold it by the side you wanna leave open, that's the trick, and then three sides. One, two, Three, and try to do a thin, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, a thin bead of glue. Mine kind of got a little wonky there. And get it nice and straight. Okay, I really like this one. Now, I learned from making the mini size, I had done the belly band first and then it wouldn't fit. So, I've got some options. Um, of how I want the belly band, you know, to wrap around. And it, it probably mostly depends on, you know, what do I want the decoration on the front to be. I think I'm going to, and of course you can trim some of this off and have an extra piece of this as well. So maybe I'll do that. Let's fold it here and here. And another trick with these, I've been making them, um, on on this folio where they slide on and off and they're closed but I think on this one what I'm gonna do is we'll we'll put something here and I'm gonna use a velcro dot and that way it'll just open up and you don't have to worry about it fitting and sliding on here both work you know and let me show you what I mean like this one I can get it back on here, but I kind of have to work at it a little bit, okay? So you can just glue it together, and that's not a problem. I added that little circle there. But on this one, instead of gluing it together, I'm going to add some kind of decoration, and we're gonna use a Velcro dot, and I'll show you real quick. But let me first ink it. Okay. I really love this paper. All right, so I've got to decide if I want to do this one. I had, I was thinking I was going to do 
a similar kind of Halloween-y thing, but I don't think I'm going to with this paper. It's so cute, but I, let's see if I just have a pumpkin or something to stick on the front. I don't know, if we ink it, this might be okay. I hadn't really, I, I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time making the tags and things that go inside this one because um, you can, you can see my prototypes and you can go back and watch the other one if you really want to see that. That is cute. I think that's okay. It's not quite as bright. The other option is I could just punch a circle out of the, these flowers, but I'll put it on here just to show you guys. If I change my mind later, I can always cover it up. Okay, so get your belly band positioned again. I don't want it too tight because I'm going to add things in there but I also want it, you know, snug enough to hold everything. So I'm gonna add glue just to a little portion here and glue my pumpkin. And I'm not gluing this closed. I'm just getting the pumpkin onto the belly band where I wanted it, where I wanted it positioned. Make sure it's on nice and good. And then we'll just get out our trusty Velcro dots. And if you need to see any of the supplies I'm using, they're linked for you in my Amazon storefront. So you can see some of the supplies that I use. Um, and I'm supposed to say I am an Amazon affiliate. So disclosure, if you um, click on that and then end up making a purchase. Um, I do get a few pennies and I appreciate it, thank you. But that's, again, I mainly do it so that you guys can see what I use. Um, so, so no worries if you don't wanna do that, but if you would like to see the supplies, they're there. Okay, and again, I'm just going to, I like to line it up nicely before I stick it down to make sure I get it in the right place. And as always, the easiest way to do that is to put the two Velcro dots together so you know they're gonna line up. And then just make sure this piece is straight. Cute. So now you can slide it on and off this way or you can just open it up and take it off. And have your flip and then have all of your pockets. So let me grab a tag. We have one, two, Large side pocket, three, four, and five. And I love putting something over here too, but I'm not counting that as six. Okay, I've only said that 17 times. All right, I hope you guys like it. Um, I will make some coordinating tags and um, goodies to put in there. It still stays pretty thin, and I put a lot in this one. Um, you know, they, they stay pretty thin for you if you want to send these through the mail um, or add them inside journals. So I hope you guys like it. I hope it was helpful so that you can now make, use eight by eight paper and make mini ones, or you can make one that's larger with the 12 by 12 paper. Okay. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day until next time.